Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. Yes, the first of 2022. And had things been going to plan, uh, instead of the bright lights of Barnet uh, High Street behind me, you would have had the bright lights of uh, the Strip in Las Vegas. But I um, got pinged by the NHS app on uh, New Year's Day uh, to say that I'd been in contact with somebody who tested positive um, for COVID. So now I have to do uh, lateral flow tests um, every day for the next seven days, which means it's a bit too risky for me to travel. So um, yes, we're enjoying Barnet. Uh, the temperature is the same as Las Vegas, as according to the uh, weather forecast, it's a pretty chilly in Las Vegas. So I would have been having to wear the hat and the um, scarf. Um, but yes, uh, the dreaded COVID has um, put paid to my trip. Um, I was quite looking forward to it. It would have been the first work-based trip that I'd been on since uh, February 2020. I got as far as packing, so that was exciting. Um, and then I had to unpack everything. Um, there is a little bit of an advantage to uh, not going in that um, I can um, go and do uh, the Saracens uh, game on Saturday um, as uh, I will have finished my uh, seven days of, um, uh, of having to do lateral flow tests by then. Uh, this is assuming, of course, I don't test positive between now and Saturday. And um, I'll be able to go out um, for a walk with the Ramblers uh, on Sunday, which uh, should, uh, according to the, uh, the description, avoid us wonderful views of um, North London. Um, oh, look, I've got bright red lights on my... Uh, well, it's not uh, anything to do with illuminations. It's a car reversing uh, and parking. So, um, yes, um, hopefully, uh, <laughs> um, COVID won't interfere uh, when I have my next scheduled uh, overseas trip, which is a holiday to uh, France. That's if they let us in again. Um, so, until uh, next week, Happy New Year!